Greetings everybody. Today's video is sponsored by iMyPhone FixPo iOS system recovery software. This software is both available for Windows and for Mac OS. Here are the key features of this software. One click to reset iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. Enter and exit recovery mode in just one click. Fix your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. Apple TV without losing any data. You can also downgrade iOS to the previous version without jailbreak provided the downgraded version is still signed. It supports all iOS versions including iOS 15 and also it supports the latest iPhone 13 models. You can fix all iOS problems at home such as if your device is stuck in recovery mode, stuck on Apple logo, stuck in spinning circle, white screen, black screen, frozen screen, boot loop, iOS update failure, Apple TV issues. If you want to read more about the key features, you can scroll down and read about the key features on this page. Now we will download the software and install it and then test it out. All right guys, the iMyPhone FixPo user interface looks like this. You have standard mode, you have advanced mode, you can reset your device from here or you can enter and exit recovery mode by using this option. We will test out that how it fixes iOS system issues and gets your device back to normal. To begin, first of all, enter recovery mode by clicking this button. Connect your device to your computer. I have connected my iPhone 6. Then just click next and click enter recovery mode. This will enter your device into recovery mode without pressing any buttons. All right, guys, our device is in recovery mode now. Just click back. We will use standard mode as it does not result in data loss. Keep your device connected. Click next. And you can check out that it has shown my device model right here, iPhone 6 and firmware version 12.5.5. Just click download button and it will automatically download the firmware for you. If you have downloaded the firmware manually, you can just click select it. You can download the firmware for your device by going to this website, selecting your device and just downloading the IPSW. I will select it manually. Here is the IPSW for my device. Click on open. Now it will start extracting the firmware. You have to wait one or two minutes here. After the firmware has been extracted successfully, you can start to fix your device without losing any data. Just click start. Please keep your device connected until this process is complete. We are 56% there, it is 6 percent and now we are almost done. Alright guys, the fix was successful and now your device will boot and then you can use it just click done you can just buy this software if you like it that's all for this video guys if you have any question please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon i will see you in a new video goodbye